guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna talk all about my current beauty favorites these are just makeup and skincare bias that I've picked up over the last two months using and loving and I wanted to share with you guys if it's your first time here don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber welcome back I appreciate you comment down below some of your favorite beauty and skincare favorites and let's get into the video. I have less makeup than skincare, surprise, surprise. The first thing I wanna talk about, don't judge it, is my Sephora pressed powder. Dalen was the one from Dalen Fidel Beauty, was the one who really put me on to this Sephora powder. It's the Micro Smooth Powder and I am the shade, well I got the shade 56. I feel like this matches my complexion pretty perfectly. Unfortunately, it came broken. Unlike my Fenty powder, for example, that came in a full box so it was protected, this one just comes with that sort of plastic wrapped around it so I feel like it's very vulnerable to shipping and whatnot so if you're not able to pick this up in store and you're like me who has to pick, get it all the way in the Caribbean just know that it might be susceptible I'm not telling you it's going to break but mine definitely came powder broken all kind of things so but I still used it what I can what I was able to save from it and I really really like this powder I actually have it on right now and I feel for a day when it's very light, like makeup, maybe a little um, concealer and you just want a little powdered look, this is really great. And this is a lot cheaper than most of your high-end powders. Okay, so this is another makeup item. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This primer is so bomb makes your makeup last all day it's really good for dry skin it feels like a jelly when you put it on and then it dries down a little bit tacky or a little bit sticky but that's perfect for makeup i really really like it again i had the smaller size before and i enjoyed using this product so i had to repurchase and get the big one Milk is definitely becoming one of the brands that I'm really, really liking all of their products. The next makeup item I'm going to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush stick thing. Okay, so I got a mini size. It came in my Sephora order and I've just been trying it out. And this is actually what I have on my brows today. Okay, so pros and cons. I think the pros of using something like this is that it takes me 30 seconds to do my eyebrows literally 30 seconds i just come and i brush and because it's slightly tinted it's a dark brown because it's slightly tinted it just fills out what needs to fill out and then you can get those i'll come closer you can get those really natural hair like strokes like right here so those are the pros con for me though i feel like if your brows aren't done like if your brows aren't freshly waxed or whatever it might be a bit of a mess and then also if you go a little bit too heavy handed it can look like you just put mascara on your brows or something but other than that i think it's a really good product and i think i'm probably going to purchase the full size when i'm done with this and i think for an everyday beat this is perfect 30 second brows that's great i probably wouldn't use it if i was doing a whole full beat i would probably stick to my brow palm pomade but oh. the last makeup item that i'm talking about today is this C Curler Tarte C Mascara. So I really like, really, really like mascara. I actually don't have any mascara on, so it's a perfect opportunity to show you. This stuff is bomb. And I already have long lashes, and it just gives me the length and the volume that I need. Like, just look at the difference, guys. That's dramatic. And I didn't even put on a lot, so that's really great. On to skincare. This is the Milk Vegan Moisturizer. Again, it's another thing that Dale and Fidel put me onto. This is the second time I'm buying it. And it's this like really thick cream. It's really beautiful. I would say this is a dupe for the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. But it's really expensive. It's about $68 for that 40 something or 50 ml jar. This is a 48 ml jar and it's about $30. So if you have sensitive skin, I think this is really perfect. It doesn't seem to have any sort of fragrance or anything like that and it feels so good. If you have dry skin, this feels amazing. It's very, very luxe on your skin and especially 
at the end of my skincare routine after I've done everything else this just feels absolutely amazing it feels like silk on my skin and I highly recommend it it's my second repurchase they just need they need a bigger jar at this point the next product that I repurchased and I was actually happy that they started doing these in a bigger size now this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid The normal ordinary bottles I think are 30 ml, yes, and then this one is a 60 ml, so you can actually buy the bigger sizes now. And get this, okay, this bigger size is only like $12, so that is one thing with the ordinary, it's extremely affordable and it gives people a really easy way to get into skincare and build a skincare routine according to your personal needs. I love hyaluronic acid. I put it on my skin after I have cleansed and my skin is still wet. That's when I like to put it all over my skin and my neck and really let it just, you know, absorb in. It pulls moisture into your skin. So I really, really love this stuff. Hyaluronic acid, 2% plus B5 by The Ordinary. On to some new purchases that I started trying out. This is the Ole Hendrickson's Glow, Glow 20H dark spot toner <laughs> so I needed to get a new toner but I decided that I'm going to get this one and I'm also going to repurchase my old toner which is the Laneige toner I really really love the Laneige toner but it's just a an ordinary hydrating toner and I think I'm going to alternate the days and use this toner because it's pretty much a AHA yeah it has high potency AHAs so it's supposed to be really good for helping that to build that skin turnover your skin cell turnover also getting rid of like dark marks I just started using it as you can see so I'll keep with it and probably give you guys an update in about two three months to see if really and truly I find any of my scarring from acne acne scarring and stuff like that goes away so far too even though it's an AHA toner you know sometimes when you use AHA stuff it tends to burn or sting or whatever but this one I didn't get any irritation with it so I think it's really good so far so good so I'm looking forward to trying this all right guys so the next thing that I got is this cleansing oil so this is the biosense squalene and antioxidant cleansing oil the cleansing oil is like the first step in your cleansing routine so this is what it looks like it's very luxe this was on the expensive side so I did wait for the Sephora sale to get these it has squalene plant derived squalene and antioxidants and cleansing oil and what I like about this is that it is like a cleansing oil, a first step cleansing oil, and the cleanser in one because you go in with it as an oil, it breaks down all of your makeup and you rub, rub, rub. But then when you wash your hands and you add some water, it changes and it becomes very like white and almost creamy. So it becomes, it, it, it builds the consistency of an ordinary cleanser. So I really, really like that. And it really cleans your skin. I was quite impressed with this product. And I tried it like without using any makeup wipes first or anything to help it out. I just tried it straight on makeup and it's really, really, really good. And it smells really good too. It doesn't have any high fragrance, but it just it just smells like a very clean product. So the next thing that I purchased, again, this was something where I got a trial size of it, tried the trial size, fell in love with it, actually saw results and then went to purchase it. But this was definitely an expensive purchase. This is a Dermalogica Micro Exfoliant. We're gonna ignore the sticker with many on it. A very, very, very fine grain powder. You just wet your hands a little bit and it sort of creates this little paste and then you go on with your face and you scrub, scrub, scrub. And let me tell you, it sort of melts down into your face and it really leaves your face so smooth the first first time I used it I was literally in love immediately and I was like I have to purchase it is expensive though Dermalogica is an expensive brand and I think this runs you at least $59 so she's pricey but again that's why I waited for the sale but this was this was more a splurge but I think it will last me a very very long time because this is 74 grams and I think the trial size I've had the trial size for almost a month now and I've been using it so I definitely think if this small trial size which is about this big 
can last me that long this should probably last me a very long while because you just need a little bit of powder and it's good formulated without fragrances or colors cruelty free gluten free and vegan the daily microfoliant so the last bit of skincare that i'm going to talk about i bought this mini set this mini lip set and it's from the brand agave plus or bite i'm not really sure but this is just one of the items from the set i'll put the others on the screen but this is an intensive lip mask and then it also came with a nighttime lip therapy lip mask that you can use daily and it also came with a weekly lip scrub and i really really love these products even though it's a mini obviously because you're only using it on your lips they last really long i've probably had them for over a month now using and it keeps your lips moisturized for several several hours on end and i love the lip scrub as well it's just a regular schmegger lip, lip, lip scrub all of these products i talked about today in my current beauty favorites video i will link them down below in the description box if you guys would like to purchase or check them out for yourselves if it's your first time here don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber thank you for watching leave a thumbs up comment down below some of your favorite beauty skincare makeup favorites i will see you guys in my next video bye